Hey there guys, we got confirmation from the anniversary stream that we're getting the Chaotic Darkness series boss battle on July, um, which is this month, so we should be getting it either this week or within the next few weeks. So I figured I'd show a preview of the fight from the Japanese server to go over the mechanics and what to expect and how to do the fight. Uh, now, I need to put like a disclaimer out there that they did say there's going to be some adjustments to series boss battles. We don't know if that means they're going to change the mechanics, or if they're going to change the fight itself, or just the rewards. But just in case, there might be some changes to the fight. So I'm going to go over the Japanese version, but keep in mind there may be some differences on the global version. So for this fight, we're going to be using Kenny Crow as our evasion provoker. He's got 100% evasion, and 105% dark resist and status immunity. Now, you know, you can use... Uh, any unit to do this on global, like you could use um, Seacard, Wilhelm, Charlotte. Uh, but the thing is, I don't have all the gear on Japanese server to do it with those units, so I have to use Kenny Crow, even though he's not available on global. But anyway, um, the whole team needs 105 dark resist. We well, need 175 dark resist, but I'm going to be using a 70% buff. So 105 plus Nicole's buff will give me 170. Uh, so he's got, you know, evasion and provoke. Nicole is going to be doing buffs. He's also got the Aura Staff to cast a spell. He's on Phoenix for Raise, just in case we go slow in the last phase. Other than that, he's got 110 Dark Resist and Status Immunity. Bosch is going to be our Magical Cover Tank. Now, he needs more resistance. He needs Status Immunity, and he needs to have 175 Water and 175 Dark. You can use buffs. I'm just giving it to him just in case, like, Kenny Crow dies, Bosch gets dispelled. I want him to have the full, the full immunity even without a buff. But you can have less and use buffs instead. But he needs, like I said, water and dark, 175 each. Folka is here only for the immunity buffs she provides. She's going to be doing immunity to stop and all the ailments. That's really her only duty here. She's just here for the immunities. You need to give... Um, a buff, because like Ultros and all, this boss also imperils your resistances to statuses and then applies them. So Folka will give us immunity after the fact. Bartz is going to be our DPS. You can use any DPS you want. Um, Cersei was just upgraded on Global. She'll be a great choice here, as well as, you know, like Esther and all can probably do it. Uh, but anyway, he's got, um, you know, 105 Dark Resist, status immunity, and that's all that really matters. And the friend we're grabbing is Gonzi Sephiroth. This is a low DPS unit, because Bars is high DPS. I'm kind of partnering him with a low DPS to kind of balance it out close to Global's power level, power level. But his Sephiroth is geared properly with status immunity, 105% dark resist. And he's got a holy weapon. That's very important. We need someone to deal holy damage for the mechanics of this fight. So he's, we're going to be doing it with Sephiroth. And he's got a wind weapon to chain with Bars. So, let me get into this and show you the fight. Now, the way I'm doing this is kind of like people do the Dark Esper fights, where we're going for complete immunity. We're not taking any damage whatsoever. So, therefore, we don't need a breaker. If you decide to go for a more classic setup, where you, like, tank all the damage and you don't go for immunity, then you will need a breaker for attack and magic. Uh, but anyway, Folka is going to go ahead and just apply her immunity buffs. And that's really all she's going to do the whole fight. Nicole is going to buff uh, our Dark Resist. And then he's going to give just Mana Regen. Bosch is going to cover Magic. Kenny Crow is just going to guard. He has nothing to do. Now Bars will start powering up. And Sephiroth will just chain, which also deals Holy Damage. Now we don't need to deal Holy Damage until 80%. But, you know, there's no, no, no reason not to, not to do it. Alright, so here comes the attacks. Uh, we're evading the physical attacks that are all single target. And we're dodged and we're um, immune the AoE elemental attacks. Unfortunately, Kenny counterattacks, which is annoying. So we gotta wait for that. Alright, the bars will power up. And again, the whole team just repeats. So the fight's not gonna really change too much until um, 80%. Yeah, there's some, you know, dark attacks, water attacks. Bosch is covering all the magical stuff. Kitty Crow's dodging the physical. Now, there is a 20-turn limit to win this fight on the Japanese server, which might be changed for global. 
Uh, if it's not, you do need pretty good DPS to win in 20 turns. And because I'm bringing basically a zero damage Sephiroth friend, uh, I might not even get it in 20 turns with Bart's. We'll see. But we're gonna try. Alright, now Bart's ready to start dealing some damage, so we'll. Uh, wait a minute. Let's go. Let's do it this way so we properly chain. Alright. The real damage will start next turn. So, as you see, the boss imperiled our resistances and he imperiled our status immunity. And he's applying all these, he's doing stop and stuff. But, um, you know, with Volka's immunity buffs, gearing for immunity, with Nicole's resistance buffs, and covering the magic, it's all that damage negated. Alright, now it's time to start dealing some real damage. And the rest of the team just repeats, you know, every turn. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Now when we get to 80%, there will be a threshold, and I'll explain that when we get there. There's, you know, more elemental attacks, not really a big deal. Alright, so this should push the boss below 80, because this is Bart's big burst. Alright. So this is going to be a gravity attack, which does deal damage, but you know gravity attacks can't kill you, so don't worry about that. Uh, he'll cast stop, he'll cast um, some breaks, but we're immune to the breaks, and then he's going to end his turn. All right, there's the gravity. Oh, Bosch covers the gravity, but it won't kill him. All right, now you need to deal holy damage. By dealing holy damage below 80%, the first time you deal holy damage, it's going to stun the boss and cancel his turn. And if you, But if you don't deal holy damage, really bad things will happen. I'm not really going to go over it because we're going to do the fight the proper way. So let's go ahead and deal holy damage. So we just did holy damage. That's going to stun the boss. We'll use uh, Folka this turn to top off Bosch because there is a gravity attack coming next threshold as well. Alright, so because we dealt holy damage, the boss is going to be stunned. There we go. We counterattack, but then he stuns. Alright, see so the boss is covered, it's called like covered in light or whatever. It stuns the boss for a turn. That disables all his special attacks until the next phase, which is at 50%. So let's go ahead and put uh, Volka back on status immunities. Uh, Bart's is cooldown, if not ready. Alright, so what is that damage boss? So the next threshold is at 50%, which we might push here because Bart's is crazy damage. Okay, we didn't quite push it. That's fine. But because we dealt holy damage and stunned the boss, uh, all his special attacks have been disabled for this phase for the rest of the phase. They're not going to come back. So the fight is the exact same as it was above 80%. So he's just going to keep on doing those attacks that can't hurt us. Alright, so Bart's his cooldown is now ready. Let's go ahead and pop that. Get some good damage in. Uh, this might push. Didn't quite push. That's okay. So this will be just a regular turn. Okay. Now here's the thing. Um, the next threshold at 51%, it's going to include a dispel a little bit later. I'm going to go over when we get there. But it's going to include a dispel a little bit later. You want to make sure that does not happen on a multiple of four turn. So the next multiple of four is turn 12. We're going to push the threshold this turn. Then the following turn after that, he's going to dispel. So that'll be turn 11. So that's okay. If we were going to do it on turn 12, or turn 11 and then 12, we would just wait a turn. But because we're going to, if it's a safe turn to push, we're going to go ahead and push that threshold. So let's go ahead and do that. And that was Bart's first turn, so it's no real big damage. Okay, so the threshold, once again, is going to be, um, you know, the gravity attack and all that. That it can't kill anyone. Okay, gravity. And he imperiled you and all that. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and heal Bosch. Alright, so let me explain what's going to happen here after I heal Bosch real quick. Okay. So now we need to deal, now below 50%, you need to deal holy damage over two different turns to, to disable the boss's special attacks. 
it has to be two different turns, so back to back, which means because the first turn, his special attacks are not disabled yet, this first turn after 50%, the boss is going to give himself a shield with a really big regeneration. It can be dispelled though. But the important thing is he's going to dispel our provoke tank before attacking. That's why you want a passive provoke tank that has over 105% um, resistance before buffs. Because Kenny Crow is going to get dispelled, then the boss is going to attack. So let's go ahead and show this. And Bart's is actually dealing too much damage, so I'm going to guard him so we don't push the next threshold. We can, we can show this fight as it progresses. So Sephiroth's going to deal holy damage, but again, because you need to deal holy damage over two different turns, he is going to get a dispel off. So, 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 so let's watch this real quick. So there's the shield, there's the attacks, and there's the dispel. It's probably hard to see in all these graphics. Oh, Kenny Crow got... Oh, he got... Ugh! I just realized. He got, um... Uh, what's it called? He got stopped. Or not stopped, paralyzed because of the par he lost his both his paralyzed immunity buff. Um that happens every after every third turn. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh Okay. Now we can, we can recover this because Sephiroth can in full life, so we can we can probably recover this. Let's find out. Uh, oh, we gotta deal holy damage, though. Uh-oh. Is anyone dealing ho holy damage? Oh, Bosch has got a holy weapon. Okay, so because Bosch has a holy weapon, we can actually recover this. So Bosch will hit the boss. Yeah, Bosch will hit the boss. That's gonna stun the boss. We'll just guard Bart for now. Alright, so we dealt holy damage twice. That was, that was my messy mistake. So that disables the boss's special attacks for the rest of this phase. Okay, that's good. Uh, so now we will raise Nicole. Um, you can't use items in this fight, so I'm gonna fail a mission here. We need to get we need to get uh, Folka back up. So we'll cover with Bot. Okay, so this is this is a little messy. This is a little messy. That's okay. All right, so now we got the attacks going on. Uh, if he does his AOE, this okay. So, so we recovered. So there you go. All right, so let me do all the recoveries. All right, let's see here. Um, well, we already use items. Let's go ahead and dispel the boss with Kenny Crow. Let's re let's let's, put, let's recover this. Let's put all our buffs back up. Let's uh, dark resist and mana regen. Volka will give us immunity buffs. All right, so that that was that was unfortunate that happened, but we um we did stun the boss. So because we dealt holy damage over two different turns, his special attacks are disabled for until the next phase, which is at twenty percent. All right, so now we're gonna go back to DPSing. All right, so the next threshold is gonna be at twenty percent, and we'll we'll show that when we get there closer. Okay. Go ahead and fold the top of everyone off. Uh, Bart can use his unlock. Kimmy Crow will discard. These two will just repeat. Alright, so the next threshold is at 20%. Uh, the thresholds are always the same. It's just the gravity attack, um, some breaks, stop, and all that. But that can't hurt us. Alright, Bart will do his unlock. Let me get Volka back on immunities. Alright, let's have Bart do his down. And this should push the threshold. Yeah, it did. Okay, so this is going to be the threshold attack where the boss does, um, you know, the gravity, the stop, and all that. And then he ends his turn. Okay, there we go. Can't kill anyone. 
Alright, so now here's the tricky part. Now, the boss needs to be hit with Holy Element over the course of three different turns to disable his attack, which means he's going to use that Dispel on this turn and the next turn before he's finally stunned again. Of course, he's only got 14% health left. The fight's probably going to be over before three turns happen. But he is going to Dispel again, so Kenny Crow's going to get Dispelled. Uh, it's turn 17, he's not going to stop this turn. I don't think he paralyzes this turn, but if he does, Kenny Crow's going to get paralyzed again and die again. Uh, so, actually, we're going to go ahead and with Fulka, that's the wrong skill. We're going we're gonna to do some re-raise with Fulka, just in case the boss um, decides to be a jerk. So we're going to re-raise herself and, I guess, Bosch. Just in case. All right. Barks with DPS. We're going to deal holy damage with Sephiroth to seal. Excellent. Oh, there's also death in this phase. From now on, the boss will be using a single target death every third turn, which means turn 18 is going to also be a death. You can immune that death with, like, Genji Shield or something, but I couldn't fit that on Kenny Crow with, with all the other gear he's wearing. So, uh, turn 18, he's, there's going to be a death, which is going to be um, a big problem, but the death happens at the end of the round, so it actually is not not too big of a deal. There's the shield. Uh, okay, so Kenny did not get paralyzed, so we're good. Even though he did get dispelled. Like, I'll, sh I'll show you, all of Kenny's buffs are now gone. Uh, there you go, like, Kenny lost, um... Oh, Kenny's confused. So he got confused instead of paralyzed, which is fine, we don't care if he gets confused. Alright, so this turn is going to be a death. The boss did put that shield up, and that shield is like a 5 million hit point shield, so you may as well dispel it. So we'll go ahead and dispel that shield with Nicole, and he will do, um... What was I was going to do? He'll just cast a spell. Alright, so that shield is now gone. Um, let's see. We need to do immunities on the whole team. Uh, Bosch is going to... Bosch will break the boss. Just in case. That way he can keep... Because he can survive it if the boss is broken. And we'll chain. So this is the second time we're dealing holy damage. So now the boss... Um, the boss is going to dispel again. He's also going to death at the end of the turn. So if Kenny Crow doesn't get stopped or paralyzed here, we're good. Uh, he might get paralyzed, though. Let's see. There's the death. Okay, there, there's some melee attacks, because there, there's no longer a provoker. But that's okay. Okay, so the boss regenerated. Um, let's go ahead and... Let's see here. I'm gonna raise Kenny Crow up. Uh, we're not gonna dispel the boss, because we need to... We need a rebuff, yeah. Oh, actually, actually no, we don't need a rebuff. We're gonna, um, we're gonna just, because th this turn is the third time we're dealing holy damage, so the boss is gonna get stunned. So we don't need to worry about the spelling, or any kind of tanking or anything like that. Um, Bosch will just punch the boss for stunning, because he's using a holy weapon. Uh, Bart's will chain, and Folka will give us immunity. So now the boss was hit with holy damage three times in the final phase, so all his dispels and all that have been disabled. So no more dispels, no more shields, no more uh, you know bad stuff. There's the stun. Okay. Now we're gonna put all our. Um, so now the boss is exactly the same as he was the whole fight, with the exception of he'll now also be casting death every third turn. So the next one's gonna be on turn. The next death will be on turn 21. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Volker will put up immunities. The boss won't be dispelling these anymore. Uh, Bart's gonna chain, Sephiroth is gonna chain. Ah, 1%. And this is turn 20. This is the last turn we have to win. But just, just as a reminder, we're using a Sephiroth with, like, no nothing equipped on those. He's using, like, a, a wall holy weapon and, like, a 35 damage wind weapon. And he's not really the best partner for this fight. So we could have done it in 20 turns with this team. But, uh, you know... We had kind of like a you know a hiccup at the at the 50% threshold. We lost a few turns because of that. 
And we got into 1%. So, I mean, you know, we could have won, we could have won, but we didn't. It's fine. 21 turns. Obviously, when we do this on global, you want to bring two high DPS friends. So, to go over the recap real quick, you want 175% dark resist on the entire team, because his AoE, dark AoE, ignores cover. The whole team needs 175% dark resist to immune that AoE dark attack. Only the magic tank needs 175 water resist, because all the water damage can be covered. Um, you need provoke for the single target stuff. You prefer a passive provoker because of the dispel. That way the provoker continues to get dispelled, or continues to get the attacks after the provoke. Uh, you don't want to push thresholds on multiples of four turns, because that'll get your provoker killed. We kind of messed that up um, on the second threshold. Uh, there's a death every third turn below 20%, and you need to deal holy damage every turn after 80, 50, and 20 to stun the boss and disable his special special attacks like Dispel and all that. Uh, so I'll be doing a cleaner video on the global server when it comes out because I've got much better gear available on the global server, better units available. Uh, but there's a way um, you know, to explain what's going on in the fight and you can see how to do the Chaotic Darkness trial when it comes to global very soon. See you guys then.